Garrett Schrader walked out of that tunnel before warmups in a hoodie and sweatpants. That meant that Carlos Dario Wilson was thrusted into the starting job. With his team trailing by a touchdown with three minutes to go in the game, QB2 threw his fourth interception of the game on the first play of the drive. Syracuse fell to Boston College 17-10 on Friday, and the Orange dropped their fifth straight game. After the game, head coach Dino Babers said that even with his quarterback's mistakes, he needed a full team effort. Carlos did a good job. I know there's a lot of interceptions, but, you know, when you're playing with your backup quarterback, the other guys have to find a way to win the game. And LeQuinn almost found a way to do it. The offensive line did a nice job in the rushing game. But once again, we lost too many guys in that game. In the second half, the lineup started changing. On a nostalgic note, the number 54 will be in the rafters next year. Legendary defensive end Dwight Freeney was honored at halftime. The NCAA single season sack leader is headed to the College Football Hall of Fame next month. Freeney was ecstatic to share this moment with his family. It's just, you know, who would have thought? Like for me, I, I, like I said, I didn't even think about these things when I played. But to have my family here with me, you know, my daughter, my wife, my parents here, this is a moment for the entire family, not just me. So it's special for them too. The halftime ceremony was one of the more exciting moments all season for Syracuse. And SU on the field needs to have some exciting moments. Next week, the field, it's a pretty exciting one. Syracuse takes on Pitt at Yankee Stadium. Kickoffs at 3.30 on Saturday, November 11th from the house that Jeter built. But for now, reporting in Syracuse, Joe Puccio, Citrus TV.